Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my skincare routine. It's a video that's been really requested because lots of people compliment me on my skin and I wanted to share what kind of my favorite products are of, you know, the last few months. And since we're talking about skin, I decided to do very, very natural makeup. I feel a bit uncomfortable being on camera with this little makeup, but for some reason I like to have either zero makeup at all or like full glam. Something like this, which is in the middle, really like, I don't know, it makes me feel a bit weird. I don't know. But I thought it was appropriate for the video so you can look at my skin. I'm just wearing the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation, which is one of my favorite foundations just for those days when I don't want to look like I've got a full face of makeup on. I just want to even out my skin tone a little bit. It's really good for like the gym and stuff. So I look a bit more human, especially if I fake tan and then I have a really pale face. It's nice to have that foundation to kind of just even everything out. So I'm just gonna go through my full routine with you um, morning and night of what I use currently. Yeah. To start, I'll just say that my skin is very, very normal to dry. So I get really, really dry eczema patches on my face, like especially just here underneath my eye, sometimes around my eyes as well. Um, but that's just an eczema thing. It's not necessarily that my skin is dry. It's just I get those patches. So I treat my skin like it's a dry skin base or whatever. I'm really into using, you know, really hydrating products because I like my skin to look really plump and really like shiny if that makes sense. Um, okay, well I do all my makeup removing and cleansing and stuff in the shower because I hate to get like soap everywhere, like all over my sink and like down my arms. I just think like doing it in the shower is so much easier because it kind of just washes away. So my favorite cleanser at the moment is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Cleanser. This is my second bottle of it. And the first bottle I think I got in like June and I only just ran out and it's January. So it lasted me so, so long, but also it removes everything. So if you only want to use one product to get rid of everything, cleanse your skin, this is amazing. It's so, so gentle. It foams a little bit, but not too much. And it still feels quite hydrating. I don't feel like my skin is stripped of any of its moisture when I use this. But sometimes if I'm wearing something like waterproof mascara um, or a liquid lipstick, I don't want to waste too much of this. So I like to break that down first before I cleanse my skin with a product like the Ciate London Makeup Melter or the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Honestly, I like the Ciate one better. I think this works better. This is kind of like eh. It's all right, that's why I got the little size to try out and I'm not that impressed by it yet. Or just like an oil-based makeup remover. Something like that to remove any kind of like waterproof mascara or liquid lipstick that is just like really gonna stain your face. That's usually what I do first if I'm wearing anything like that and then go in with my normal cleanser. Depending on how my skin is, I will cleanse my skin and then sometimes exfoliate. I don't exfoliate all the time. I don't even exfoliate like every second day. It's probably like once or twice a week max. So for that, I use the Tarte Friction Stick. This is a really cool product because you basically like wind it up, put it straight onto your face and then rub it in. And it's got really, really fine, like sandy, gritty, exfoliating things in it that I feel like this does a really good job, but it does really like draw out the moisture in my skin. So I don't like to use it too often. So when I use this, I really have to use a lot of like oils and things afterwards to really like replenish my skin, but it does a really good job of exfoliating any kind of dead skin. Then I get out the shower, dry off, and first product I usually use is the Grown Alchemist antioxidant facial oil. This is rose hip and camellia seed. This brand is really cool because it's all organic and it's all plant-based ingredients. So I feel like there's nothing harsh in this that could damage your skin. And I just really like using oils on my skin because 
that's what makes my skin feel hydrated again. I need something that's very thick or very oily to make my skin look really nice. Then straight after that, I use the Grown Alchemist Hydro Repair Day Cream. These have just been my go-to combination for moisturizing. Even before makeup, I find the oil doesn't interfere with my makeup at all. This is just a really nice, rich moisturizer but it's not too rich where it feels like it's too thick on your skin. It's a really nice day cream. This is Camellia and Geranium Blossom, so it's non-greasy and it doesn't leave any kind of like residue on your skin, which I really like. Basically, I just really like this brand because it's really, really natural and I actually feel like it does make a difference in my skin. So these are my moisturizers. I use them in the morning and then sometimes at night, but if I'm feeling like my skin's a little bit dull, a little bit dehydrated, that's when I like to go in with, this is basically my night cream, but I use it into the day as well. Just when I want to give my skin that extra like of moisture. This is the HANA or HANA Cell Recovery Cream. This is something that Nikki Tutorials have talked about before um, because I think her mum stocks this brand or something. But oh my god, this is such a thick product and it's so hydrating and so moisturizing that if you have any little trace of dry skin, you can put this on and it will just go like into your skin. You can look very, very shiny with this. So I love that, but other people probably don't. So if you don't have dry skin, I would possibly only use this at night but I go to the gym with this on and I look like a shiny little mess and I don't even care because it does wonderful things to my skin I swear I haven't had a proper like eczema breakout or anything for months because I've been using this every time I get like a little dry patch of skin I will soak my face in this overnight and it's just fine the next day so I love this I think more people should try it and Listen to Nikki because she knows what she's talking about. She's got great skin too. Like this stuff is amazing. Something that I do on occasion, I should do it every day, but I often forget. Um, I really like using eye creams if I have any kind of eczema around my eyes or dry patches because my concealer tends to get quite dry underneath my eyes and crease. So when my eyes are really dry, I like to include an eye cream into my routine when I remember to, I'm really bad at remembering to, but I try, I'm trying. Um, this is the Napoleon Supreme Eye Cream. I really like this one. It's really, really hydrating. I've also used the Kiehl's Avocado one, and I didn't like that one as much because it was quite, um, I don't know, it kind of felt like it separated, like it would be creamy, but then oily and then watery. It was, it was a strange formula, but I really like this one. It seems to do a nice job of hydrating under my eyes, but I'm not really fussed with eye creams, to be honest. Now, masks. I'm obsessed with using face masks. I love them so much. Um, usually ones that you can leave on. I prefer those type because I am lazy and I hate washing my face in the sink. So if I do a face mask, I feel like I want to get in the shower again to wash it off, which is annoying. So I like to use a load mask that you can kind of like leave on and sleep in. But the first mask I want to talk about is the Mario Badescu Whitening Mask. Because I don't have very many issues with my skin, I only get a few little dry patches. It's actually really, really clear. Um, I don't get breakouts or anything like that. But I do have um, a lot of little pigmentation and scars from when I have had like a pimple and my skin just holds scars really easily because it's very fair and I feel like they appear much darker than they would on like a more tan person. I also have a few freckles and stuff on my cheeks which can't be helped but I kind of want to make my skin look brighter and more smooth and reduce those red marks from you know acne scars from like years ago. So that's where this comes in. I probably use this about once a week, um, maybe twice if I'm feeling adventurous. I usually only apply it on the areas that I have pigmentation, so on my cheeks especially. 
This is amazing if you have really big pores. I use this on my boyfriend and the difference it has made on his skin is actually insane. Like he has those pores that you can literally see the little dead skin inside them and you can dig it out. They're that big that you can use a little pin and like scrape everyone out. It's disgusting, but I love it because I love doing it. But this has totally changed that. This makes his pores look so smooth, so much tighter. He doesn't get as many blackheads or, you know, those just like sebaceous glands anymore. It's kind of crazy how much this has changed his skin. So if you have really big pores, I would totally recommend trying this and seeing if it works for you. For other types of masks, I'm obsessed with Glam Glow masks. I think they are amazing as does everyone else. I really like the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud. This is the hydrating treatment. This says you can put on for like 10 to 20 minutes and then wet, wipe off for excess, or you can leave it on say like overnight or during the day. So I w wear this stuff all the time. This is my second jar of it because I love it so much. So I use this usually at night time. Um, if I'm not wanting something as thick as the Hana Cell Recovery Cream, this is really beautiful and it smells really good. It's kind of like a coconutty smell. Yeah, it's just really fresh and beautiful and makes my skin feel, you know, hydrated, which is what it's meant to do. I also have been using lately the Glam Glow Dream Duo, which is an overnight treatment mask. So again, it's one of those masks that you put on and you can leave overnight, which are my favorite. This one is awesome because it has two sides to it. So you use the step one first and then step two right over the top and then you leave it on and in the morning your skin looks really, really nice. Apparently a lot of people use this on celebrities before they're going on like a red carpet or something like that because it really just makes your skin look so bouncy and hydrated and fresh the next day. So this one's really good too. So they are all my favorite face products that I use, have been using for quite a few months now and I think they've made a really big difference in my skin. It doesn't look as dry anymore. I don't get really, really dry patches anymore. I feel like my skin looks smoother. It looks more healthy when I'm not wearing makeup. I just think my skin has looked is looking like the best it's ever looked at the moment and I'm really happy with that. It could also be because I'm drinking a lot more water and my diet's really clean, but I think these have really helped. Just because I was talking about the shower as well, I wanna mention a couple of products that I really love for body skin. To wash my body, I don't really care about you know, what body wash I use. I'll usually use something like a Dermavene soap free wash. That's really good for, you know, sensitive skin that gets eczema and dryness. Something that's very simple on the skin and it's not gonna, you know, cause any reactions. But when I'm feeling fancy and I wanna smell really yummy, the Philosophy Cinnamon Buns Body Wash. This is my third bottle of it. I love it so much. This smell, Oh, this smell is delicious. I can't stop using it. Guy kind of hates it, but I love the smell of this. It smells so, mm. It's kind of like my obsession with those like Halloween pumpkin spice candles. It's that cinnamon flavor and it's just so sweet and delicious. I love this stuff so much, but what I like to do when I've got a bit of dry skin on my body or I've been fake tanning and I need to exfoliate, I love mixing this cinnamon buns with Frank body scrub. This is a coffee scrub. Pretty much everyone's heard about it. Um, it's very, very rough on the skin. So just be, keep that in mind. So I don't use it all the time, but when I just want to give my body just one big like de-shed, <laughs> of dead skin, I will mix these two together. And the smell is so good, because I hate coffee. I hate the smell of coffee. So this makes it smell like a beautiful cinnamony dessert, and I feel so fresh and so clean and amazing, and I don't know, it makes my skin really smooth. 
So that is my favorite combo for body at the moment. So I hope I've covered everything. These are all my favorite products at the moment. I might make this video every like six months or so to kind of update everyone on what I've been using on my skin because I think skincare is like such an important thing and you really do have to just try a lot of products until you find a routine that works for you. Hence why I have so many different types of like masks and treatments and stuff. I just think trying as many different products as you can sometimes is great because then you find something that really works and that's how I feel about that HANA cell recovery cream. I just tried it and it's like totally changed my skin. So let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. If you want to try any of these products, let me know. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments. So yeah, that's everything you need to know about my skincare routine at the moment. I hope you all are having a really great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.